Hi, I'm Sean Hamm with PremierGuitar.com. We're at the New York Amp Show at the Three Monkeys booth with Ozzy. Nice to see you. How's it going? Very well, very well. Cool. We just heard Harrison here on Strat playing through the uh, new Virgil Amp. Do you want to tell us about that? Sure, sure. Uh, the Virgil Amp is uh, our new addition for this year. It's based upon the amplifier that we had designed for Brad Whitford of Aerosmith in 2004 for touring use. Uh, we have his son who was kind enough to come out here and play for us, Monster Player. Um, basically, what we have is a modified version of that amplifier. Uh, the difference is being that this is four 6V6s, where Brad's amp was four 6L6s. So it's a much more manageable wattage, being around 30 watts. Uh, the other addition is we modified the preamp to go in a direction that usually most guys aren't going to want to go in. When We started off with a dirty amp. Brad's amp was always dirty. And we worked on getting a, um, a clean sound out of it. And we were pretty successful at doing that. So basically what you have is... Um, an amplifier that is capable of producing both British and American tones and then being able to get extremely distorted and high gain at the touch of a foot switch. Um, so what we have here is um, <coughs> your standard uh, controls of being a volume, a bass, metal, a treble control, um, a global master, and then a lead master, and a lead preamp. So you have a, a tremendous amount of control over the tones that you're going to get and the amount of volume for boosted and non-boosted uh, settings as well as uh, the gain level of your boosted and non-boosted settings being independent and variable. Um, so basically what you have here is what we're looking for for the next uh, year to pull us through. Cool. Now, what do you have in the cabinet that we're right. hearing? The cabinet's a 212 cabinet. It's a closed back. Uh, it's our own design. It's sort of um, a 212 scaled-down version of a Marshall 412. The speakers in there right now are WGS Veteran 30s. Start off here with this is the dirty channel right now and he's playing through a 70s strat. Sounds awesome. Now, how about the clean channel?
All right, thanks, Harrison. Harrison Whitford, we should, I don't think we clarified that before. Maybe you did, but I didn't really. So Brad Whitford's son, yes. thanks, sounds great. Now, that was the Virgil we heard a second ago. Now we're gonna hear the-, the Grease Monkey 2. Right, this is the, uh, the Grease Monkey 2, which is a Grease Monkey with the addition of a master volume. So people who are familiar with the Grease Monkey will know this amp, except now they can actually play it in their house. <laughs> Um, right now, uh, we've got it set up uh, on the cleaner side. As you know, it has that boost switch on the back that puts it into hell mode. Uh, right now, it's in normal mode, so we're going to have uh, uh, Harrison demo us for a little bit on that right now, I think. How, how many dBs on that boost? On that dBs? I don't know. Probably like around 20. It's enough, it's enough to where you know, you're not going to want it foot switchable. That's why it's on the back, and it's not foot switchable. I mean, it's too much of a jump, so we're going to have to do a little bit of a of a reset on the volume control when we when we switch over to the uh, to the hot side. Okay, cool. Let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs> So that's with the boost off. Yeah, that's the boost off. Uh, so now you're going to let us hear it with it on. We're going to hit it right now. So I'm going to turn it down, and then we'll bring it up to, to level. All right, Harry, hit it. Great, you guys. Now, now, one thing that I wanted to ask about is the cabinet here. What what's inside it first? All right. Uh, again, we have uh, two WGS speakers close to the Veteran 30. Um, they're in a vertical position, a little bit canted from uh, from right to left. Okay. Now, besides looking really cool, right. is there another design philosophy behind the the um, shape of the cab? Absolutely. The head fits on it. <laughs> 
<laughs> so there's no mystical like juju, tonal well, juju associated with it. We did play around with, uh, obviously, with the dimensions a little bit and got it sounding good. Um, Greg uh, came up with, with the shape that we were looking for, and then, well, we had to make it work. So, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't just the first chance and the first try that came out to be the way it is. So we had to do a little bit of playing around in there. But I would say that, um, you know, in this case, uh, you know, uh, function followed form. Well, definitely differenti differentiates you guys and looks great yeah. and sounds great, too. Thank you very much. So where can people go to find out more about the Virgil and the new uh, Grease Monkey 2? Well, the Grease Monkey 2 and the Virgil will be on our website, uh, www.3monkeysamps.com. And uh, you can see them, uh, dealers all across the country in Europe. Sweet. Thanks, Ozzy. Thanks, Thank Harrison. You. I'm Sean Hammond, and you're watching PremierGuitar.com.